<laughs> Alright, welcome back to another tutorial from Flying Eye Studios. This time we are going to make an intro exactly as you saw here in the beginning. Uh, and well, uh, basically I made some new steps. Uh, you know that it was a long time, pretty long time, as I made my last tutorial. This time I'm going to have made a um, website for my channel, www.flyingeyestudios.com. Uh, on my channel I will upload all my uh, template files and product files I'm working with. Uh, for example, in this tutorial we are going to use a sound file called swoosh uh, to make this swoosh sound as you saw in the intro. Uh, and well, in the web in, on my website I will upload the whole product file I'm working with and the sound file so you can uh, yourself doing this with the sound file instead of searching on the internet for a free sound file. Uh, so basically, uh, I have tried to make this website, uh, or not website, uh, my whole YouTube channel a bit more interactive uh, with you guys. I also made a Facebook and Twitter page. Uh, Facebook, my page name is Flying Eye Studios, uh, and Twitter, they could just have 15 letters. It's Flying Eye Studio. Uh, just skip the S. You can see it on the description down here on my YouTube video. And uh, well, basically. Uh, that's all uh, for with that. And also I've get, got lately a lot of questions where I am from. Uh, so I can make a small introdu introduction who I am. My name is Kaspar. I'm from Sweden, uh, living in Stockholm, the capital in Sweden. And uh, well, as you probably know and hear on my accent, English is not my, uh, my native language, or what you call it. Uh, I'm, I was one of the worst in my class at English, and, but I'm doing this for fun and uh, well, I, I, I have a lot of fun when I'm talk, talking English, so I don't care about how much I say wrong. And uh, well, uh, I'm 20 years old also, and uh, I'm male as you probably hear on my voice, and uh, well that's probably with that. And if you have any more questions who I am or what the hell I'm doing, just comment below the video. I'm trying to answer it on my next video. Uh, or if you have any other questions, I don't know. Uh, as I said, I am trying to do it a bit more interactive. The whole, th my whole thing with this YouTube channel. And I'm doing this for free. Uh, so all support, uh, subscribe and uh, likes, comment, etc. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter. It's all appreciate because I'm doing this for free and to teach you guys how to work in all this Adobe and all other programs, how to animate and how to make videos and images. So I'm sorry I wasted three minutes in your life just speaking uh, and not about this tutorial. So let's open up the After Effects to start with the tutorial. Go to Composition, New Composition. I'm uh, using this composition name, Comp1. Uh, use whatever name you want. Preset HTV, HTV 8080 uh, Full HD is what it meant actually, yes, as you can see with width and height. Uh, pressing OK, going just do this. So I'm going to use a new layer, new, uh, solid. You can also press down here, right click, new, solid. Using white color, press OK. You don't need to change it. Well, you can change it to background if you want. I, I don't want to. And I'm going to add an effect. Basically, I didn't tell you what you will learn in this tutorial either, except that it's in the intro. You learn how all the basic stuff, how to animate a movie clip in After Effects. You will learn how to make effects, you will learn how to use text, text, you add text, learn how to render, how, how to add sound, all stuff. So, uh, follow me if you are a beginner. Just do as I did, or, or are doing in this video clip. So, basically, uh, a lot of basically. Uh, my word language is not pretty good either. But, I'm going to effect. Anyway, sorry. I'm a bit tired, actually. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm sorry. Um, go to gradient ramp. I'm going to choose the white color. And uh, a bit grayish down here. Mm, yeah, alright. And I'm going to use the radial ramp and press OK. It's no OK button, so I just press this. And I'm going to work with the anchor point. This is what is called an anchor point. As you can see, it's a circle. So if I add this anchor point in the middle and I drag this up, you can see that it's circle or sun. It's a sun. No, it's not a sun. It's not yellow. Sorry. This circle 
uh, this white sun is moving down, I want to drag it out. So I'm just drawing it down, 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 down. Now I have a bit a nice gradient, very simple, not colorful. I don't want it colorful, colorful in this tutorial. Adding a text effect, pressing Flying Eye Studios, I'm going to write. Uh, as you can see, I have a, I have a different uh, font. I have add, manually in installed a free font from the internet. It's called Batman Forever Alternate. If you don't know how to install fonts, that's what, why I made my website. You can see I have added a description down here, down here in the YouTube description box to my website, how to install a, a font to your Adobe programs. And also a link, of course, to this font, so you can use it in your own tutorials. If you don't want to use this tutorial or this font, you can use whatever font you want uh, in this tutorial, just so you can keep going. I'm going to center it by pressing this. No, sorry, Control Zeta. No, I don't know how to say Zeta, Zeta, Zeta. I don't really know, sorry. Control Zeta to undo it, anyway. I'm going to do this text a bit higher by just dragging this. It was too, too big. And I'm going to add a new text. No, I'm not. I'm going to first to add effect on this text. I'm going to effects and preset. Oh, I have already gone this whole way. So I can go to animate presets. So I can show you how I'm doing. I'm going to text and I'm going to animate in and I'm going to Fade up characters, it will stand. Z and H is gone. And you can see that I have this awesome effect right here. Very simple uh, text effect. So I can, this can go away, well, skip it. And I'm going to press this right arrow, or yeah, arrow thing. I'm going to text, animate one, and range selector one. And as you can see, we have these two keyframes over already. What this means is that it will start over here and it will end over here. So I want to make it a bit faster. So I'm pressing press on uh, the spacebar to play the video clip, by the way. It will be a lot faster. So make it a bit slower. By the way, press spacebar to stop. And uh, I was pretty happy. I just want to show you. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to add here a new text effect. No, sorry, text, a text. And I will add my website name, www.flyingistudios.com. Make it a bit smaller. Like that, maybe. And I'm going to drag it up here. I'm using the arrow keys too. To make it better. It wasn't much better. Maybe like that. All right. I have it here. So what I want is to press Control T. I want to add, by the way, have this layer, first layer, new layer, text layer uh, activated. Press T, just T on the keyboard. You will get this opacity. I will add zero percent. Press zero. No, add a zero. And press on the keyframe. You have added a keyframe. Congratulations, you have added your first keyframe. What this means is that it will be invisible right now. Right here, uh, just a millisecond later, I will add 100%. Write 100 and press enter on the keyboard. Boom, add a new keyframe. Congratulations, you have added two keyframes in some seconds. What's the effect I have made right now? Press spacebar. Boom, here we go. I want this a bit closer. I press uh, shift to add to, or control, you can also to activate them both. Space, boom, nice. A bit, all right, I'm happy with that. I'm going to add a new effect. So I'm going up to, uh, I'm going up to, where I'm going up to, layer, new, adjustment layer, boom. Adjustment layer, all done. Going up to effect, generate again, and I'm going down to lens flare. Boom! I have lens flare. I, I think it's here, this box. I have it separate. 
What I want to do now is to have drag this anchor point right here. It shouldn't look like this, I don't think. I'm writing 100. Okay, it should. Yeah, I'm happy with this. 120% I have added. And right here, I want to. Yeah, sorry. Ah, I'm so stupid right now. No, I'm not. I'm always smart. First thing first, I'm going to. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to add this uh, keyframe. Press keyframe, flare center. And I'm going to drag it. I want to have it when it ends, right over here, something. Yeah. And I'm going to add a new. No, I'm just going to drag this anchor point right over here. So, if it's all working right now. Ah, crap. Press the wrong button. As you can see, it's full. Boom! What I want is to have it uh, disappeared right here. Uh, it's. No, I don't want it here. I want it uh, right here. I want to, it to disappear. This stupid flare center, it shouldn't be here. So I'm pressing T on the adjustment layer. Um, nah, now I deleted it. Ah, crap. Ah, telephone. Sorry. Oh my god. Well, I'm adding a uh, opacity, 0%. Right here. Boom. No, I'm not. I'm adding 100% here. Mm. Okay. A bit wrong. Crap. Sorry. Right here. And over here, I'm going to add a 0%. Maybe over here and have a 100 over here. What's the effect? Sorry. Now it should be off. What's the effect? It's like this. Pretty sweet. The lens flare. Oh, this telephone. I'm so unfocused right now. So I'm going to add a sound file to this by uh, going to my keyboard. Swoosh on. I'm going to drag this to my library by just holding it down and drag it down here. I added my swoosh to my li library. I want to drag it in my whole uh, composition by dragging it also down here. And I'm going to up, go to Composition, Preview, and Ramp View Preview. Boom! Here you go. Again, again, again. Ramp View. Boom! Doom! Pretty sweet. Uh, the intro looks nice. Uh, you have this sound file fo following. You can also use the compa. You can see the shortcut right here. Numpad zero to play with the sound. Because if I just play spacebar right now, it's no sound. That's why I'm doing this. So shortcut you can see also over here. I'm not using it because, uh, well, you can't see what I'm doing. Because I have no webcam at my keyboard, so you can't see. And I will not add a keyboard to my... No, I will not add a webcam to my keyboard because I don't want it. Uh, and well, that's that's that. I want to show you how to render this uh, a so you can get an AV file to upload on YouTube. Basically, I want my video clip maybe like three seconds. Three seconds. Composition preview. Well, you see what I did? I dragged that to the left. Uh, preview, RAM preview. Boom! As you can see, it's done. Maybe I want it a bit longer. A bit longer. Four seconds. Say four seconds. Nah. Like that. Ramp preview. Boom. A bit shorter. Like that. Okay, I'm done. I want to render it. I'm going up to composition. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to file. No. File, 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 render, render. No. Composition. Add to render queue. There you go. Boom. Composition one. I don't want to call it composition one. I call it intro one, for example. 
save it on my desktop, boom, and uh, render, render button. You can see it render and it will uh, have a sound when it's done, like ching or maybe something like that. Now it's stuck, it's not good. Da ching Here we go, the video file is ready. I'm going to drag it because I have it on the wrong side. You get my AV file, I can upload it on YouTube. I want to play it right now, I want to pause it right now so you can see how it's working. Pause, 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 pause. And go. Boom! There you go, my intro. And I'm all done. Hope you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, subscribe, especially to my YouTube channel. I'm doing this for you guys. Uh, visit my website to download the font uh, and also the sound file. And I hope you enjoyed it, uh, basically. Share with all your friends, share it on Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Uh, yeah, basically, just have fun in life. Well, see you guys. Have a great time. All right, I'm done.